we will start building our simulation model with just listing some inputs of the simulation. We will start by cost per flip. It's a good idea to put these kind of parameters um, ahead of time with, so we can change them later on. I'm going to go to formatting and format this as dollar. Uh, another parameter is final reward. As we said, $8 is what we receive at the end of the game. Right? And actually, the most important input that is uncertain is how many times we will be flipping. So, number of flips. Number of flips is something that we don't know how much it will be. Right? But one game here, it was three. Another game, it was five. Another game, there was 11 flips. So, let's just put as an example number five, but let me highlight this as one number that is very uncertain here. And if I know the number of flips, I would be able to calculate, let me call it final payoff. So how much do I get at the end? And the final payoff will be $8 minus $1 times the number of flips, right? And this is, of course, in this case, $3. But if it is 3, it will be $5, and it will be, if it is 11, it will be negative 3, negative showing in parentheses to indicate. So let's keep it, for example, 5. And of course now the, uh, the interesting thing is this is the output that we're uh, interested in measuring, right? And, uh, and the main input is the number of flips, but the number of flips cannot be simulated directly. It requires uh, a bigger uh, simulation um, or right that will determine exactly how many flips uh, happened and that simulation has to somehow um, um, generate um, all possibilities of the evolution of the game so it has to generate did i throw the first throw was it head or tail the second throw was it head or tail and so on so we have to build a simulation in order to get this uh, parameter uh, calculated